Hi guys, Kyung here. Um, I'm here and we're gonna work on the gnome journal. It's almost done. Dum dum. Look at him. He's all ready to go. He was just on my desk right there ready to go. Um, but what I think I want to play with is I have these. So my sister, right, bought me these Maremi. This is from Maremi. Maremi Small Art. And they're shipped from, geez, I think Ireland or I don't know. They come from across the pond and I love them, right? So my sister buys them for me sometimes, usually once a year, usually for special occasions, my birthday or Christmas or some such. And these ones have mushrooms. They have mushrooms. And so we're going to use the mushrooms. That's what we're going to do. And it's rice paper. It's like collage rice paper. And it's fancy. And I hoard them. I have a few <laughs> packs, but I really do hoard them. Oh my goodness. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. Wow. Wow. I'm so impressed. So impressed. Wow. Those are stunning. Okay. So I have this page here cut out. It's cut out, should be uh, the right size for our pages here. Let's see, we have a belly band and we have our, oh, look at this right here, this page right here. So we can put it on this page. That's perfect, right? So, but what are we going to do with it, right? What are we going to do? I don't know. Um, a pocket, perhaps, you know, always pockets, right? What do we have? Do we, I don't think we have many pockets, actually, in this journal. We have a belly band. Right, we have a paper clip, right? We've got this cool clip and this holds our notebook. Hmm, we don't really have too many pockets. We could use a pocket. We have this, which is like a flip, right? It's got a flip, it's got a little pocket. This one has a pocket. It's also a flip and it flips out. It's got a lot of flips. This this journal has a lot of flips. I'm, I'm a lover of flips though. Here's another flip, right? I think there's a pocket inside that. So we can just go a pocket. Let's just do a pocket. Huh? So let's think of, let's put the mushroom on the pocket, right? And we'll put like a background down. What do we have? Let's look at what we have. I have a zoomed in all closer today because I thought, you know, I'm always so far away. I bet it's kind of like not the best to be able to see. These are so pretty, but you know, I don't, we're going very like vintagey style, you know, and these are very bright and spring and I don't know. I mean, you know, I guess these kind of would go with the mushrooms. They kind it kind of goes. I love this one. This is very pretty. This paper. Oh, I don't know. I might use these as just like papers, right? I may fold them up, use them as just papers in the journal, back them with like another piece, right? Like this, right? Stitch them, fold them, call it good. They'd make really pretty just regular pages in the journal. And I might do that with these. I hate to cover them, right? They're so pretty. Um, let's see, what do we have? We have this door. We've used this page a few times <laughs> in the journal, but I do love it. It's probably my favorite page in the kit, right? It's got the, I don't know. I love it. It's got the lady and the door and the architecture. And I like this one. This page too, we've used a few times. We definitely have her on our like cover page. We could just go like a very kind of bland right background we could just do that and stamp on it maybe how about that maybe we'll stamp on it i like the door <laughs> choices choices it's so difficult i think this one this is the one we're gonna go with that's the one of these little scraps i could do like a collage thing but i don't think i'm going to and then we have these doors i have a green door a tan door and a blue one. I love this blue one and a giant one. I might fold this one and have it put in as a journal page. <laughs> okay, so we're done going through all those and I've decided on this one. This is the page. So I'm going to going, I'm going to trim it, right? And we'll use the other one, my cream, as the pocket. 
as the pocket that we will put our mushrooms on. And maybe a gnome, huh? Maybe we'll put a gnome. A gnome with our mushrooms. I'll definitely have to do some, like, collaged journal cards. Maybe that's what I'll do next time. Hmm? We'll have some collaging fun. Oh, goodness. Look at this. I'm all... Let's just take this out of here. <laughs> let's move this aside. <laughs> so much better. So much easier to work with, right? We have these two pages, and I'll probably do the same thing as I did with this, right? I'll put the belly band... I'll put, like, a pocket on each page. Just make it easy. Easy peasy done. Okay, so I'm going to ink this... Grab my this is my purple dauber. We don't want the purple dauber. Here's my vintage photo. Hopefully, okay, we're gonna be careful with this because I made a mess re-inking. Right, look at it. You can see, I don't know if you can see. Look at all the ink I spilled inside my the crease of my it's it's a mess, you guys. It's a mess. It's a mess. We make do. Okay. Just be very look at this. Look at it. Ah! <laughs> No, look, and I now I have a fingerprint on my paper. <laughs> See if we can wipe that off really quick. Can we? Can we? Yeah. A little bit? No. <laughs> well, darn it. It's okay. That'll be the bottom, right? We're covering it up. We're covering it up with a pocket anyway. <laughs> I, I even was trying to be super careful, too. I was like, we're going to be very careful. I'm not going to make a mess. I know. And I'm very conscious of the ink. <laughs> the ink. Oh. Miss P, she was smart. She just bought a new one. She said, I'm not going to re-ink mine. <laughs> I'm just going to buy a new one. But, and I mean, the felt, right? The felt does only last so long, right? But, um. <laughs> Goodness, it's. It's like it, I'm wondering if maybe it would have been easier to just buy a new one instead of look at all this ink. That's I'm telling you. <laughs> it was like that when we started too. Must have been like that from the last time. I bet. I bet. Okay, I'm gonna ink. I'm inking these edges. Should we go down the middle? I'm not going to go down the middle. We'll do washi tape down the middle. Shall I do these? I'll just do it real quick. Let's do it real quick. Oh, no. Ugh. It's all a problem. <laughs> okay. Let's just ink this up. Ink it really quick so I don't have to do it later. Right? Okay. There we go. Done. Done. Okay. Let's put this one. Okay. My fingerprint is down here, so we'll glue it here. And I'm going to try to get it as close to kind of the top as I can, if I can help it. And hopefully we cut it straight this time. Hopefully. And I'm going to use the cosmic shimmer that lovely Jania sent me. So, what do I know? Oh, yes, the game I've been making. Yes, I've been making this RPG game. And I know that Jen was asking me, like, oh, I hope you talk more about it. So I guess I could talk a little bit about it. I don't know how interesting it is. It's a little geeky. So I've created this whole world. And I've called it the, uh, the continent. I have named Lenaria is the name of the continent. And... There are two cities that kind of are the main cities. One of them is Fort Frost, and they're up in the north. And then we have, and they're kind of more rugged and down to earth. And, um, you know, they, 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 it's like rougher living. It's harder living up there, you know. And then there's Lynn's Hope, which is down more in the south. And they're kind of the rich uppity, greedy kind of city, and, um, 
I could go on and on. I have built a whole, and I'm thinking what I'll probably do is that when I'm done making this whole, you know, world, I'll probably write a novel is probably what will end up happening. Probably write some big fantasy novel, you know, because I need another project. Who, who doesn't want to, <laughs> you know, tack on a giant crazy project, huh? I'm always doing that. Okay. I've wanted, however, you know, I'll say, I've wanted to write a novel, right? Since I was, look at all that ink, the ink. I've wanted to write a novel since, you know, probably, oh geez, I had to be 11, 12, I bet. One of the very first, like, the very first, like, rough draft of my future fantasy novel, I probably had to write when I was, like, 11 or 12, right? About this whole land uh, and this tree. <laughs> and there are these creatures that have come up from the depths of, like, the deep earth, you know? Um, and they have, they've, like, sucked up all the water. So there's no water on the like planet anymore and there's all this like farming has been like regulated and but it's like a fantasy world you know so there's it takes place in like fantasy land you know without um technology basically right the idea doom to -do doom with magic and all that kind of stuff Okay, let's see. I like that. We have a little mushroom. And I think, should we do another one? I love these little, look at these cute little flowers that come on the bottom. <gasps> They're so cute. Let's use them. She's so thoughtful. You know, one of the things I love about her stuff is she's all thoughtful in her stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not like a spa. I just love, I just love her stuff. I'm just, <laughs> yay. Look at this cute little flower and mushroom and a gnome. What should we do, Mr. Gnome? Shall we put you on here? I don't know. I'm just not sure. I suppose we could cut him out. I don't really, I'm not in the mood to fussy cut a whole gnome out right now. Um, let's look at Chestita's gnomes. You know, Chestita sent us some gnomes. The lovely Chestita. Let's see, what do we have in here? We have these, all these cute little guys. These guys are cute. We have some that aren't colored that we could like color ourselves, right? That she sent us. Look at the little, oh my gosh, look at this guy with the lantern. Oh, he's so cute. That's the one. That's the one, the guy with the lantern. How darling, I said I wasn't in the mood to fussy cut gnomes, yet here I'm gonna be fussy cutting a gnome. Not really, not too much. Not like this guy. This guy is way more complicated than this guy. We're just, I'm not gonna be like particular. I'm just gonna, oh, and then we have to think about coloring him, huh? I think maybe I'll go very simple and I'll color him using distress ink, huh? And we'll pick like, one color. We'll do him in like vintage photo. <laughs> maybe I'll be able to like clear out some of my, actually that's a great idea. I'll try to get a brush and I'll try and maybe if I can clear out some of my, um, you know, that cr the crease in my, in my ink, in my ink thing. I don't know how to describe, I don't know how you would say it. Okay, Mr. Gnome. He's being all cooperative-like because he definitely wants to go in this journal. He's all happy, I can tell. He's like all happy, he's been chosen. He's like, oh, look, he's so happy. He's got a little smile. He's so ready. He's so ready. Oh, look, he fits 
perfect. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, shall we put him like over here though and maybe do something like this with the flowers and the mushrooms with the flowers on top in front of the mushrooms? Hmm. I don't know. That's fine. I guess. Let's grab a brush. A brush and some water. Um, do I have some water? Do I have... Do I have... Do I? No. Yes, I do. Okay, I have a bottle here of water. Dun, dun, dun. No, I just need, like... Okay. Let's grab my oh, distress ink and try to be. I mean, look at it. It's got ink all along. The, it's it's a nightmare. Okay, we're just gonna. I mean, so much of it spilled. Like, I droppered it all in. <laughs> okay. Um, I need a palette. I need a palette. That's what I need. A palette. I have this shiny photo paper. That will work. It'll work enough. Okay. Let's color some of his hat, huh? Just color in some of the lines. Doom, 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 doom. And again, I'm not being perfect. It doesn't matter. Let's do his beard. Just give him some color, huh? Okay, and let's do perhaps some darker for his, like, shoes, right? Like, more pigmented, more pigmented. Oh, he's so cute. Perhaps on his mittens, his cute little gloves. Oh, no. We, like, got out of the lines there. Oh, well, what can you do? It's fine. Right, just get the color on there. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm try not to get it on his nose, though, if I can help it. Oh, look at that. We did good. It's not the best brush in the world. Look at it splitting on me. Look at that. Okay. He looks great! Okay, let's put this away. Look at me, I've got ink all over myself now. Okay, goodness gracious. I don't have my, uh baby wipes over here. You know, I could dampen my towel, I suppose, huh? I can be smarter than the <laughs> than the mess. <laughs> oh no, except I just spilled it all over myself. <laughs> That'll wake you up. <laughs> oh, jeez, it's cold. <laughs> Well, there we go. Okay. Just spilt about two cups of water all down the front of myself, but that's okay. We're good. Nowhere near any of the electrical, so we're good. Look at this. I painted it on the... This is why you don't paint it on the paper, right? You don't paint it on the paper like that. It doesn't matter. We'll probably stencil and blah, blah, blah anyway. Okay, so where is... I'm going to think I might use... The Tim, I don't have a lot left of this. 
don't have a lot left, but I have enough and I'm going to try to use it up. I don't want to use this brush. Ah, this one. This is the brush I want. I like this brush. This flat white brush. Okay, I'm going to put a layer, a very thin, if I can, even layer. If I can't, as I say that, and I don't get an even layer. Okay, get this to stick. Yay, look at that. Looks good. So yes, I don't know. I may, instead of ordering new, right, instead of ordering another bottle of this stuff, because it is quite expensive, as all the Tim Holtz stuff is, right? I may make my own, right? Because I did test it that one time with the gesso and the, uh, got like some kind of ink or something. Lint? I don't know. Um, and it worked great. So I think I'll do that. Put this piece here, I'm thinking. Like that. On top of the mushroom, just slightly. And just slightly off the bottom of our... ...page. Okay. There we go. Shall we put some, just get some um, of this on here, just to kind of even up the color stick. Okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Again, I'm going to stencil it and uh, I might stamp it. I might put some stamping. Some stamping. Okay, rinse off my brush good. Let's glue Mr. Gnome, Mr. Frederick the Gnome. Frederick the Gnome, he's our lantern bearer. He lights the way. Well, we got actually a couple lantern bearers. We have a lantern bearer on the front, too. Huh. Well, this is his cousin, Frederick. Frederick Doomhaven. <laughs> I guess it doesn't sound like a very nice name, does it? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, you know, he lives down in the caves. So, what else do you name people? I don't know what all this is like. Something is under. I didn't want to, like, stick down. It's got issues. It's got issues, you guys. Look at that. It's got issues. Okay, let's grab the trusty photo glue stick. My awesome never fails me. Okay. Just gonna let that dry. And let's pick out some, like, stencils and stuff, huh? So what stencils do we want on there to, like, deal with it? Because it has, it has errors, is what it has. We have these. Right, I've got... These are fancy. Ooh. Let's see. I like, I like... We could, like, put these all around, all around... I don't know. What about... I 
What about like that? Hmm? Put a stamp right there. I have my coffee archival ink. Let's just do it, shall we? Shall we? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sold. Where's my... Okay, we have... Ooh, look. I think Tommy sent me this. Isn't this amazing? It's a stamping block. It's an actual, real stamping block. Instead of using my quilting ruler, which the quilting ruler works, works fine, but this works better. <laughs> it's easier for sure. Okay. I want this piece here and this piece here, and I'm going to do it on top of this so I don't archival ink up my table. All right. I'm thinking like this. Let's just press it down. Don't do that. I hate when it does that. It's stuck. It got stuck. Look at that. My towel is even damp from when I spilled the water all over it and my pants. <laughs> it's interesting the way that it hit some of, like, right, because we put some of that, um, that vintage photo, and so it picked up on some of the paper, but some on the some on the collage medium. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see. I want to ink the edges. Ink the edges. Let's put this. We should theoretically still have ink on our dauber. I would think so. And what do we think? Do we want to still do any stenciling or anything instead of putting anything anything else on it? Just do a little bit of stenciling. My problem with stenciling is I overdo it. I always overdo the stenciling. You know, it just doesn't. It's... We can try. Let's try. <laughs> Let's see. I have this Tim Holtz stencil, right? This, um, it's like a crackle or something. Um, we can try it. Let's just get more ink everywhere. I keep forgetting. Okay. Let me check my fingers. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking let's move it like this and just put the stencil over the entire thing and then decide where we want. Where do we want? I'm thinking down here like this. I love this, like, detail here. So I'm thinking I want that. Oh. Okay. So like this then. Yes, that's how I want it. Okay, let's put in this part because I love this part of the stencil. That's awesome. Okay, let's put in some here for sure. It's probably better to use a brush, right? One of those brushes. I notice stencils really tear up my daubers. But what can you do? Let's get some along here. Maybe up here. What do we think? Good. Shall we lift it and see? Lift it and see? What does it look like? What do we think? Uh, it's not bad. I don't know. I mean, 
I think it's fine. I think it's good. Actually, I really like it. It's really cute. It's like vintagey looking, huh? It's very vintagey looking. Let's grab. Where did our page go? Okay. Let's put our stencils of stamps away. Let's put them over here at least for now. What do we think? Yes? Oh, actually, I love that. I love it. Okay. Let's glue it on. Just the three sides. Boop. Okay, and then we'll put a washi tape down the middle, I'm thinking. But, you know, I might wait to do that until after I do this, this page. Let's see, what do we have we can put in this pocket? I might also do another stamp. I might stamp again. Right up here. We could, we could, we could stamp, stamp something else. Let's see, what do we have? I have butterflies. Let's look at my butterflies. I like these ones, huh? My wooden ones. You get a wooden. Should we try? Let's try. Oh, yay! It looks great. Looks great. I'm very happy with it. Just wipe it off. Okay. Yay! Okay, so we have a butterfly. And I suppose we could put a butterfly down here. <laughs> Gotta put a butterfly on it. I have this cute little yellow one I cut out. Look, it's perfect. It should sit on the mushroom. You gotta have a butterfly sitting on the mushroom. Right, it came from that sticker book. So I just fussy cut it out of that sticker book. Put some glue on there, because again, I find stickers to be temporary. Most of them, anyway. It can sit on the mushroom like this. He kind of blends in, but I love that. He looks great. Okay. Yay. Pretty, pretty page. What do we have? We have these two gnomes. We have this guy and this guy. This one might look good in here. Like that. Yeah, I like that. Don't know about this ribbon situation. Don't know about the ribbon situation, but it is what it is. What else do we have? I have this piece of paper that I messed up here. Right? I have... What do we have? I have a piece of purple. Ooh. I have one of these yellow ones ah, that I dyed with the um, inlined paper. Right, I used the yellow writ dye, and then I baked it, and then I ironed it, and so maybe we will just fold this up. Shall we fold it up? How do I want to fold it up? Should we fold it up like this? Right. And then shall we fold it up like this? Perhaps, like that. It looks crooked. Ta-da! Stick that in there. What else do we have? Let's see. I have this 
thing of cards. Oh, look at these. Let's do something with these. Right, I've got these two. I think about public schools. I love the balloons. What else do we have in here? I like the green. The green would match with the... Okay, we'll go with the green. The green. Ooh, and I think I might have a couple of... Oh, yes, look at this. That's great. Okay, and so what are we going to do? Let me grab a piece of... Where did all my... <laughs> Let's grab a piece of paper. Let's cut it down. Is that too thin? I feel like that's way too thin. That's better. That's better. That gives us at least something to work with, yeah? Make a couple of journal cards. Right. Okay, let's ink this. And glue it on. Ooh, I like the back. glue this one here I love this it's so cool these like little journal card pieces No, they look like just like pieces of scrap or something cut from, you know, one of the Tim Holtz papers. All right. Looking good. This one can go here. What do we think? Like this or maybe up like this? I'm thinking like that. Yes? No? Maybe perhaps like this? Perhaps just one? I don't know. I kind of like this one down here like this for sure. I feel like it's crooked. It might be. I don't know. <laughs> I see everything crooked, so I just go. I just keep going. I don't care. I'm going to make sure that I have a little bit of each of this part showing because I really like that. I think that looks good. So should we put this one here like this? I kind of like it. Like that? Like that. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I love, I love, I love. Okay, I'm going to round, round the corners with my sometimes trusty corner rounder. <laughs> going to ink it. I'll probably 
stitch it. It definitely needs stitched for sure. And probably stencil the back. All right, so far I like it. Pretty little journal card. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Butterflies. I could put a butterfly up here. I have these like Tim Holtz ones. Ooh, that yellow one. Here's a green one. That would match our green, but it's so big, he would really cover up a lot of... I think that's fine. Him. And perhaps something behind him. Aren't these so cute? My sister found these in like... I don't know, it was like the dollhouse section at the craft store. Look at them, they're so cute. Little tiny, like... Headline news. We could put one of those on there. Right? That's cute. Headline news. We could, like, rip its little edges. Ink his little edges. Oh, it's so cute. Right? Yes, I love it. I actually, yes, I actually very much love it. Cute. The, it was like a little pack for like a dollar at the um, craft store in like the dollhouse section. Right? Where you get like the little tiny mailboxes and beds and furniture for your dollhouses and stuff. They had one that had like little bits of money, like money, you know, and uh, those like little papers. And she got me a package of each. Ta-da! I really love that actually. And then, yeah, we, the money, I think I have them in here somewhere, maybe. They're like little dollars. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> little monies. Right? Little monies. Monies. We, let's do monies. Huh? We'll put some monies on there. Well, let's ink them up so that they're not so... Not so brand new, um, white and everything, huh? We'll just glue them on there random. We have a 100, a whole $100 bill. And what is this one? A $50 bill. Put this one like that, right? Let's put like a flower or something. all my flowers. We have a lucky charm. We have like a three-leaf clover we could put on there. I'd have to fussy cut it out. And Ooh, some roses. A little large. We've got the yellow going on. Hmm. What about this one? Nope. We have these kind of like, comes with like the wallpaper kit, and I don't want to cover up the money we just put down. There's this one. It's very pink. I don't know. I don't know. What else do we have in here?
Okay, there's that. There's my clear flower stickers. Oh, I have washi stickers too. Where's my washi ones? Washi. Washi, washi. I like, I think the washi will be the ones. I'm sure I'll be able to find one. There's this one. I like it. <laughs> Again, I don't know. It will cover up the... What about this one? I like that one. Let's do it. Let's just do it. And grab my book of values. <laughs> okay. Put some glue a stick on this sticker. I'm going to put it like right here. Right? Let's see. Let's grab my bone folder and let's... Oh, this one part ripped. That's fine. Come off of there. having difficulties. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> okay, press it down this way so you don't lift it up. Gosh, goodness, Keon, goodness. It's not rocket science. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, we have a flower. It's like a pretty little journaling card. And our back isn't too bad. Let's do some stenciling. I'll grab my handy dandy, this one that I use for everything. It's probably my favorite stencil. Although it's kind of a, it's kind of a pain to use, to be honest, because it's made out of like a really, really thin acetate sheet and not like stencil material, you know? So what can you do? It works. Ta-da! Yay! Let's put a little bit more right here where we have some... Write some messy... Okay, there we go. Much better. And we could put a flower on the back of it too if we wanted a pretty flower or some greenery, like a piece of this. <laughs> why not? Why not? Why not? Let's put it down. Shall I? Glue stick it? Probably. It's, it's always a pain because they want to curl, you know. I don't know why. Probably because it's thin and for whatever reason they want to curl. Ta-da! Yay! So pretty, we have our journaling card. And I might stitch it at some point, but not right now. Let's put my little drawers back in their organizer. There. Now this can go down in here, and we have a journaling card and a tag and some journaling paper. So awesome! And then I'll do this page too, and I'll do something similar. I'll make a pocket with a gnome and a mushroom and like a butterfly or something on this page. 
And that's it for today. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will see you later. Bye.